white slavery and prostitution in the United States at the turn of the 20th century. Any person is a prostitute who habitually or intermittently has sexual relations more or less promiscuously for money or other mercenary consideration. White slavery has been defined as the procurement by force, deceit, or drugs of a white woman or girl against her will for prostitution. Women joining the business of prostitution, forced or independently, had a life expectancy of 2 to 12 years due to drinking, drugs, and mostly disease. A prostitute rarely saw the money she made, as she was typically a type of bonded laborer, permanently in debt to her pimp or brothel owner for various fees and interest rates. The costs of prostitution were far-reaching in all of society at this time. In a single year, hospitals across the state of New York treated 74,000 cases of gonorrhea. The cost for prostitutes to get treated generally fell upon the state, as it was against hospital policy to turn someone down who could not pay. There was also the cost of the police force working against prostitution, as well as the shelters where victims of prostitution escaped to. The person who truly profits from prostitution is the keeper of the prostitute, the pimp or brothel madam. Profits of running a brothel can be averaged at 20000 or more annually, with costs for rent, furniture, girls and police bribes barely making a dent. In 1910, the International Agreement for the Suppression of the White Slave Traffic was created. This was the first international law addressing the issue, aligning countries to share information and prevent trafficking. In the 1927 League of Nations Conference, the main remedy to prevent trafficking was increased knowledge, international cooperation, criminalization of trafficking, and the contribution of civil society. Sex trafficking is the international term for today's white slavery, and surprisingly little has changed since the early 20th century, from methods of capturing victims to the obstacles we face fighting sex trafficking. The only difference seems to be the scale of such crimes. While numbers in the U.S. are low, the business has exploded worldwide in the past 100 years. Crumb TV.